<laughs> In today's show, we have a story over TikTok. Hey, Vikes, I'm Caitlin. And I'm Emery, and this is your SBTV News. We have a few people in our school who claim they are TikTok famous. What is TikTok, and are they really famous? TikTok is the newest social media app that is taking the internet by storm. We asked some of the most successful TikTokers about their experience. I TikTok because sometimes I get bored and I have really crazy ideas. I would just say pursue your dreams, that's what I did, and never give up. You just gotta put your heart into the video. Yeah. Gotta put a lot of uh, relatable things that people can relate to and then send it to other people, you know? On TikTok, you are able to make a video up to a minute long, putting original audio or a song behind the video. Some advice I'd give to somebody trying to get big on TikTok is just create something original that people are gonna enjoy. Um, it's kind of a, a luck game on whether or not you're gonna go viral. So you have to select your sound that you're gonna use and then you just kinda do whatever with the sound. You can put text on it once you're done. Um. <laughs> I was dancing at the high school and I was sitting at my friend's house and I saw that the views started to like rise up by like hundred thousands and it was one of the worst things that's ever happened. So basically I just found a sound that was like funny for what I was wearing because I was wearing my cheer uniform so I did a bring it on sound. And I found that, I learned the dance to it, and then I did it. It wasn't anything special. Are you a TikTok star? The next time you check your feed, Hi. you just might be. Who do you think is TikTok famous at our school? Now into your daily news. For Interact Club, $5 are due by Friday. The next meeting is October 3rd at 7.30 a.m. in the library. If you are interested in Sleep in the Box, see Mr. Collins or Mrs. Miller to get a registration form. $10 fee is due by Friday. Blue Smoke Barbecue will be serving food before the homecoming game. Come support our band. If you like to draw, Seaman Art Club's monthly live drawing night is on Tuesday, October 1st. Drawing sessions are open to anyone. Now over to sports. Thursday is America Day. America. America. Frick. Yeah. And on Friday, wear decades. All school dress code still applies. Do you have school spirit? Do you want to show off your school spirit? Stuco is selling shirts from 23rd to 26th. Shirts are $15 and they double as your ticket to the dance. Don't forget to buy one at lunch. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Hi, my name's Elias Mosher and I used to not be able to do parkour. You see, I got so tired because I had a lack of vitamins. But with the help of salad, I've got all the vitamins I need. I can just nozzle this stuff down. Mmm, delish. And now I have all the vitamins to do all this great parkour. We return you now to your regularly scheduled program. The winter sports conditioning program started last Monday. See Coach Cox, Tinsley, or Kelly for details. Soccer went 1-0 last night. Caden Wooster scored in overtime winning the game. Now over to Emory with the weather. Hey Vikes, for today's forecast, the high will be in the 80s. And for your future forecast, the highs will also be in the 80s. Enjoy the fall weather. Now for today's history, 
Fresh Prince of Bel-Air turns 51, and it's National Lobster Day. Now, back to your anchors. Tomorrow is America Day. Don't forget to send us your class color pictures.